All right, I guess let's do it. Three no trump, spade lead. No bidding, spade to the ace. How many tricks do we have? We have... This one doesn't look particularly hard. I have seven tricks outside the spade suit. We can just unblock the king here. Win the king of hearts. Set up our spades. And nine tricks. Maybe the clubs break, actually. Wouldn't that be great? They don't. D2. Jack of hearts lead against three now. Again, no bidding. We have four spades, two clubs, and a heart. I mean, we have plenty of tricks if we can ever knock out the diamond ace. I'm trying to understand what their theory is on this one. Like, surely West could have led from ace jack fifth of hearts. Ah, but if West has ace-jack fifth of hearts and the ace of diamonds, they would have overcalled a heart over a diamond. So I think for that reason, it probably is, you know, technically correct to play low here. We pick off jack-10 fifth of hearts over here with um, West having the diamond ace and East having ace double ten of hearts. And against four three heart splits, we can afford to lose three heart tricks and the diamond ace. Wow, they just, they, they gave up. <laughs> they just switched to clubs. <laughs> but we have enough tricks now, three spades and, or four spades and three diamonds to go. Brilliant double dummy defense to switch to clubs after we duck the first round of hearts. Look at that, it was, oh, but East had the Ace of Diamonds. Well, that, that's a little sad, but maybe they would have changed the layout if we had put up the King of Hearts at trick one. No bidding, we get to three now. Spade to the Ace. Six of spades, so it looks like spades are breaking. Well, I think we're going to need the diamond suit to come home. And I guess that means we lead low to the queen so that we can pick up king fourth of diamonds with west. Much more likely than uh, east having a singleton king. Six hearts, queen of spades lead. You decide to start the Ds to give me something to race against? Cool, cool, cool. Need the heart suit to come in, which I guess means we should just cash the ace of hearts. then strip the hand and take a club finesse. I don't really understand this one. Like we had an excessively large number of trumps on this hand for this, uh, 
for this concept. One no three now. We get a heart lead. So the only danger is if East gets in how many times? Once to put a spade through and the club king is offside, which means we should win the ace of hearts and take a club finesse immediately. Now West can't hurt us and a heart through will set up our ninth trick. Three no trump once again, spade lead. So the danger here is gonna be if East has the spade queen. If we play low, we aren't gonna have the entries to set up the club suit. Need to play the king. Go ace, king of clubs. Now we have to decide how to cross back to our hand to knock out the club queen. I think a spade is safe if we can trust West's opening lead to be um, fourth best, because now West does have three spades remaining, but that's all that they can score. And also West pitched a spade. we'd crossed in diamonds, diamonds could have been 5-2, and we might have gone down d7. Eight of diamonds lead. East opened a diamond, okay, and we're in four hearts. Well, I think the plan here, there's no bidding, right, other than the one diamond opener, so I'm not like guarding against 6-1 spades. I think the plan is to lead a low heart towards the queen. So I'm going to cross in spades and lead a low heart. And now I can pull a second round of trumps, and while West can get a diamond rough, it's going to be with their natural trump trick. <laughs> or that, you know? That that also works. East had a natural trump trick. Got it. But yeah, we could not start the hearts from the other side. Ooh, seven spades. This looks like a fascinating one. King of hearts lead. Well, yeah, <laughs> um, okay, let me think about this for a second. Oh no, this, this is like a super complicated one. I don't know what the right answer is. King of Hearts. Because if we rough a club and pull trumps, we don't have a place to put the um, five of diamonds in our hand. I, th 
think we might need to take the club finesse. Which means the best line of play might be to rough with the ten of spades and go king queen of spades, protecting against a potential 4 1 break. My think on this board has had you let you pull ahead. Oh no. Brad is killing me. Uh. Yeah, I, I think that's got to be the best plan. All right, spades are, in fact, 4-1, which I, I would say is, like, kind of good news, in a sense, because that might indicate that our line of play is correct, and it was. But that's a difficult one to analyze, because there are definitely alternatives to this line of play. So I don't think it's entirely clear that that's what you should be doing. And six hearts, get the king of clubs lead. Uh... Okay. <laughs> I guess let's test the trump suit and see what happens. Trumps don't split, but that's okay. I think I want to test the diamonds before playing two more rounds of trumps. Because if the diamonds don't split, then we are going to need the spade finesse. OK, this, this was the correct line. Yeah, I wanted to do things in the right order here. Otherwise, East could force us to guess whether or not the diamonds are splitting by um, winning the fourth trump and playing a spade at a previous time. And we do need to exit that fourth trump early. Otherwise, East will be able to prevent us from getting access to dummy on the third rounds of diamonds. Three no trump. Hmm. Well, on this lead, if we play low, and the club king is offside, we only have, I mean, we're basically just down if the king of clubs is offside and we play low here. But if we hop up with the ace, I, I just don't really understand what our plan is. There was no bidding, right? Um, maybe the entire point of the, I, I think we do need the club king on side and maybe the entire point of this hand is that when East plays the king of spades at trick one we need to unblock the queen to give ourselves three dummy entries in case East has king fourth of clubs and that makes some sense to me I think that probably is the correct plan It might depend on the opponent's opening leads. But the five of spades looks like a low enough card that we can um, trust that it's from an honor of some kind. All right, 10 in 14 and a little bit. We're in three now again, always in three now. Heart to king and ace. Two hearts, three clubs. Wow. 
well. Not sure about this one. Uh, I do want to test the clubs first. If I have four clubs and two hearts, I don't need the diamond finesse. I can just take two spades and the ace of diamonds. If I have three clubs though, but I can score two diamonds without losing the lead, I can just take two spades. It's not obvious to me whether I should play ace, king, queen of clubs, take a diamond finesse, or cash the diamond ace, and then play ace, king, queen of clubs. Like, cashing the diamond ace picks off singleton king with west. I, I really do not know the answer to this one. No bidding, once again, not useful. It's like one or the other, and I guess a speed run strat would just be to try one of them and then try the other. Uh, I guess my instincts are telling me diamond to the ace, then club over. I don't know if this is correct. It worked. Still not convinced that that was the right plan, <laughs> but once the clubs don't split, we do need the diamonds to come home for enough tricks. Four hearts. We have a one spade over call. Oh, perfect. They are apparently going to get a spade rough. I better win this trick. And now what? <laughs> uh, we want to like optimize how many trumps we cash and how many clubs we rough and how many diamonds we cash somehow. I don't know, I'm gonna cash the ace of hearts, rough a club, and try and cash two diamonds, I think is my plan. Who knows if this is the right line of play. Looks like it worked. We'll take it. Those I don't find to be good, or, or very instructive, like, puzzle hands. King of spades lead. Interesting. We can't exactly take the normal safety play in trumps. Like, if I go heart to the king, heart, and east shows out, I'm just going down. Because we could win the ace of hearts and lead towards the jack, but then they tap dummy and spades. So that plan doesn't work. Which makes me think the right plan is low heart to the jack on the first round of the suit. Because we can pick up a singleton heart with west this way, we only lose to stiff queen with east that we otherwise, yeah, th this just has to be better than cashing the hard ace. Really? Well, I'm certain that I was correct that this is better than cashing the hard ace, so maybe there's a better plan that I'm missing. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, the, the, this is a little silly and maybe unfair, but we can play a heart to the king, cross back to our hand, and now lead a heart towards the jack. This is better. Yes.
small extra chance. So I did everything right except I lost a stiff queen of uh, of hearts with east. Their line of play picks up that holding as well. Cute. Again, probably not a particularly worthwhile problem. Diamond lead. And three no trump. Okay. So again, we want to prevent East from gaining the lead at any point. And we have two spade entries to North's hand. We have six tricks immediately. We can develop two more in clubs and one more in hearts. Uh, yeah, I guess let's use our entries to lead towards the honors. It looks like they can't quite take enough hearts to beat us. Um if things go badly from here, but now that East is on lead, everything's fine. All of uh, Dummy is protected from East's attack. Nine tricks. Queen of Spades lead against three now, this time no bidding. We have... a couple of Dummy entries with which to lead clubs towards our hand. So again, I think this is just going to be maximizing our chances in the club suit. And I do believe we have enough entries that we can cash the club ace before crossing in diamonds to lead a club up. Now spade over. Another club. Maybe these are useful. I don't know. I'm being a little harsh on them because I, I don't think like finding a very, very minuscule extra chance is all that interesting. It is helpful to be able to do this, but you know, having like 20 of these deals in this set, maybe not as attractive. Looks like in three no, we have to decide do we play on clubs or diamonds for our tricks? It looks more attractive to play on diamonds, but maybe I'm missing something. Uh, let's see. I mean, if they score three diamonds and two clubs, we go down. So that could be a problem. I guess that's actually a major problem if we play on clubs. So yeah, we, we might actually need to play on diamonds. I don't know. It, it looks very natural to me to play on diamonds, so I guess I'm going to do that. They switch to clubs. So. We definitely play low on this trick. <clears throat> now they played back a spade. Oh, I'm just like way too slow, right? I mean, the Jack of Diamonds was offside, so that, that's not really something I was prepared for, unfortunately. I did have to play low on the club, though. I don't think there was any alternative to that once I had already taken this plan. So does that mean that I'm supposed to play on clubs first? I, I don't really understand that.
So I play a heart over, I play a club to the 10. I'm not sure I understand this one. That looks much worse to me than playing for Jack Doubleton of Diamonds in West Sand. They can always beat me if the Jack of Diamonds is offside. You're on D18? Oh my god. I'm losing. But how many mistakes have you made? Or how many redeals have you made? Because I'm at, I'm at 8. 8 is my tally. Wait. 8 is my tally for the entire D set. <laughs> I don't know how many I've made on this... Um, not the entire D set, the entire C and D set. I'm not sure this is the right line. I'm gonna try it and see if this is what they want, though. Okay, I, I don't know. You got two redeals from the Ds? I think I'm at three now if I've counted correctly. What am I doing wrong, then? Spade to the queen. Could it ever be right to play a diamond to the queen? Maybe. What does diamond to the queen pick up that low to the 10 doesn't? Counting? Man, I, I screwed up a counting hand like four times earlier. I know how you feel. I don't understand this one, like at all. Diamond to the 10 has to be the like percentage play, unless I'm missing something. So diamond to the queen picks up Jack Doubleton with East. Uh, that's it. So it's like Jack Doubleton with East versus I don't know. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> okay. Good problem, guys. Thank you. I'm not convinced that's the right line of play, but we're here now. At least I score a beer. That's important. Seventeen. King of Diamonds lead. Hmm. Okay, I see what they want us to do, which is again a lot of these technical lines of play. I'm not like a huge fan of. That's really not my specialty, is declare. Um, but here, they want us to maximize our chances in both the club and spade suits. And it's important to win that second round of clubs in the north hand, so that we have the entries for taking two spade finesses. Alright, 18. Brad says this requires counting. Heart lead, west bid two no trump, which I guess is the minors. Well, we do not have an entry to North's hand to get over to that King of Clubs. It is possible that we can throw West in um, to lead diamonds for us. And now it actually looks 100%. We've pulled all the trumps. West has turned up with two of them. So I think I can just cash the ace of spades to strip West Singleton's spade, which they didn't lead, and now lead a diamond up towards the queen. And West is down to only minor suit cards. We'll be able to give us access to the dummy. No counting required. <laughs> 
you didn't look at the auction. That's fair. Auctions are important. Round to 19, king of clubs lead. In four hearts. So we have a club loser, a heart loser, a spade loser. Well, we definitely want to duck the first trick. There's no bidding, no real risk of the club rough on the second round of the suit. This is going to force them to pull trumps, but at least we still have control of the club suit now. I think. <laughs> Maybe this was incorrect. Maybe this is absolutely incorrect. I mean, it would have been nice if I could win this in dummy and rough a diamond. I'm thinking at this point in time, is there a better chance? Let me let me actually redeal. I'm not convinced I did the wrong thing, but I'm just gonna hit the redeal anyway. Um, to have a think about it. Because if we duck this trick, they're gonna have to um, play trumps, which makes sense. Alternatively though, we could win this trick and go diamond, 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 rough, and then duck a club. Again, they're gonna have to pull trumps, but now they're gonna give us an extra entry to rough another diamond, so that looks a little bit better to me. Now we can pick off a 4-2 diamond split pretty easily to set up a diamond for our um, spade discard. Because if they don't play two rounds of hearts, then we do get to rough our last club in the dummy. But now the jack of hearts is an extra entry. I wasn't actually counting trumps. I hope that trumps weren't like splitting badly enough where we go down. They were not. That's a good, that's a good puzzle. What happened here? West showed the miners again. East jumped to five diamonds. We get the king of clubs lead. Queen of Clubs lead, and the Queen of Diamonds switch. Okay, let me think if I need to run the Ten of Spades right now, because it looks like I can pick up a Singleton 9, 8, or 7 of Spades with West. Six of Spades is a pretty big card. I only need three leads from North to pick up the Spade suit. So that, I believe, does mean I can cross to the Heart Ace, cross back to the Queen of Hearts, and then run the Ten of Spades. I don't need to risk uh, Spades being 5-0. I mean, if Spades are 5-0, I'm down, but so be it. Okay, West follows to two hearts, so they have at most one Spade. It is the singleton nine. I don't know why East played the seven of spades on that third round of the suit. I mean, it didn't matter, but we probably could have like easily misclicked there and gone down. Ten of clubs lead, we're in six spades, no bidding. Well, okay, I, I have a thought on this one. Man, there, there are a lot of attractive lines of play here, actually, but my first thought was... If the King of Diamonds is on side, I can leave the Ace of Clubs over here and effectively just lead a diamond up to the... So I, I think I'm going to try this line of play first and see if this 
this works um, before I do anything else. So we pull trumps, and now we unblock the hearts. And now we're gonna go ace of diamonds, diamond to the queen. And if the king of diamonds is on side, we're in great shape, but if east had king doubleton of diamonds, yeah, look at this, they're end played into leading a minor suit, giving us access to our stranded ace of clubs winner and dummy, and the jack of hearts as well. I, I don't know if that's the right line of play. I think it's a cute and clever one. So that's kind of why I went with it, <laughs> going along theme that they're not necessarily looking for the right line of play. <laughs> Uh, how, how did this happen? We're in four spades. We have two spade losers. And a heart loser, but they're threatening a diamond rough. Jack of diamonds is clearly from a doubleton, right? I mean, it could be singleton, but I don't think there's much we can do about a singleton diamond. I'm very tempted to just go ace, king of diamonds and a third diamond. Six of spades is a big card and dummy. Like if I play a trump now, Yeah, I, I think this has to be better than playing trumps. They can always beat me if West has a doubleton diamond and three spades, which seems somewhat likely. Oh no. <laughs> can they still beat me? I mean, maybe they can't. Well, there's not much I can do if uh, West had three small spades. I mean, I guess I'm not convinced that's true. <laughs> because obviously they think I can do better. But yeah, if, if West had honor third of spades, our line of play would have worked there, which I think is a reasonable layout to protect against. Apparently I have something better to do with my time. What was my worry on going queen of spades and then running the diamond suit? Maybe there's nothing to worry about. Okay, I, I, I think I'm just incorrect. I, I can do this and now I can run the diamond suit through West. Because now when West roughs, I can cross to the club ace and pull a second round of trumps. That's the difference. So we do pick up all of the holdings. I don't know, I would need to think about that for another second to see if that's really true. Always. Not sure. Maybe I've missed something. King of Hearts lead. Well, we got two heart losers, no diamonds, potentially no spades, and we have a club finesse. I think the point of this hand is that we want to play east for the queen third of spades. Well, we want to play west. Sorry, let's rephrase. We want to play west for queen third of spades. I'll play through it while I while I talk. Uh, no bidding. Um, but the point is that if, um, if East has the Queen of Spades, we can throw them in later. So now all we're going to need is two rounds of diamonds to stand up. Can cash the King of Spades, rough a diamond, and exit a spade, and East is unplayed. Lots of bidding by us, no bidding by partner. This, this is an enormous amount of bidding by us. <laughs> Don't we have a double of four spades or something? Anyway, we're here now. King of spades lead. Uh, sure. So spades are 5-4 between the opponent's hands. Yeah, 
it looks like if clubs split, I can throw West in with the Jack of Hearts after roughing spades. Yeah, clubs do split. And the two clubs to the three is going to be kind of an important... Wait, have I done something wrong? Oh no. I feel like I might have done something wrong here. <laughs> uh... Oh my god. I thought I could rough a spade and then leave the jack of hearts, and obviously I can't. Well, let's um <laughs> let's think about this for a second. I can't play a spade pitching a heart either. I mean, if I could and West would win the trick, I would be in good shape. But I can't. I think I've done something wrong. Let me let me let me start over. I need to look at this hand again for a second. I've miscounted my entries. So King of Spades to the Ace. If there was a way to strip the spades and then run the jack of hearts, we would presumably make it. West would have to lead a red suit, and we could use the two clubs to get over to the three to access a stranded diamond winner, for example. Finish 25, oh no, I'm losing to Brad. That's never a good feeling. If West has a singleton club, we um, we can do we we have enough entries. Okay, I, I think maybe that's what I'll play for. So we can rough. I I just announced if West has a singleton club, we have enough entries, and and I didn't uh, didn't execute on the plan. So we want to take the hard finesse now, and so as long as West doesn't have a trump to return. They basically have to give us an extra entry now to rough spades good. This is not working. Dude, what am I doing? I think I'm getting fixated on the heart finesses and I'm just like doing everything wrong. <laughs> Two more tallies, I'm up to seven. King of spades. I guess if I can't pick up, well, if I can't rough all the spades, then what do I do? Like I could play West for Honor, Doubleton, and Diamonds. I guess that gives me an extra shot. Still need the trumps to split. I mean, this can't be the right line of play. It does kind of maximize chances, though. We got to, you know, take all of our finesses. All right, we're, we're just down. What am I doing wrong on this one? <laughs> what? No, man. I'm losing to Brad and I can't even figure out this hand. King of spades to the ace.
I actually really liked the line of play I just took. We pick up Honor Doubleton or even Honor Third of Diamonds in West Sand, which seems fairly likely. We also picked up one of the hard honors in East Sand. That was a really good line of play. I don't believe that there's actually better. Hmm. Hold on. Can I do the same thing, but actually rough all the spades? Like, can I take this line of play? So does this pick up everything that I pick up, but I am... No, this doesn't. This doesn't pick up Honor Third of Diamonds with West. Ooh, or maybe it does. Wow. Apparently this was the correct line. I don't know, th this is a confusing line of play. I'm not convinced that this is correct. We'd need to, I guess, figure out what lines of play it works against and what it doesn't. Spade lead, three no trump. Was there any bidding? The opponents have an undisclosed 10 card spade fit and neither one of them could bid a spade. I don't buy it. Well, here's what I will say. This is an essentially impossible problem because at the table, if neither opponent has bid a spade, then there, are, there isn't a singleton diamond out there. It's just not possible. So, I mean, diamonds just split and this hand is easy. We have two spades, two hearts, two clubs. If we can score three diamonds, we're good. If we can't score three diamonds, then we need the club suits to come home means I guess we're going to use club entries to lead diamonds towards the queen jack twice. Man, is this really true? <laughs> that somehow I can combine all of my chances and then pick up the heart suit? Did I need to cross in clubs earlier? I was worried that the opponents were going to have a bunch of club tricks set up. All right, fine. Fine, fine. I can afford to do everything properly. I hate doing things properly. But once again, this hand is just impossible um, when it comes to like the real layout of the cards. So they have a diamond, two clubs, and potentially a heart to cash. Fair enough. Combine all of our chances. Yeah, also couldn't have a singleton club. Like, this layout of the cards is impossible. So is any other layout they could construct for that auction. Six clubs, heart lead. Okay. If we can guess who has the diamond dates, we might be able to do something clever. Actually, no, there's only one player. West has the ace of diamonds. So if West has the diamond dates, we have an extra chance here. Uh, let's see if we can make that happen. So we're going to need to pull trumps. And can I afford to play a third round of trumps? Uh, yes, yes I can. So we pull all the trumps, we lead a diamond up towards the king. West has to duck. Good, the king of diamonds wins. But now that we know West has the diamond ace, we can play ace, king, queen of hearts, throwing a diamond and exit the diamond queen. And West will be end played into leading spades for us. Fix 
figured that one out. 27, we get a heart opening by east. We're in four spades. We have two clubs to lose. So I think we want to play low. Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to work out if he plays the nine of hearts, then when we cross to the ace of diamonds later, after pulling four rounds of trumps, let's say, we can lead the jack of hearts. This, this looks right to me, because if we play the jack right now, east is going to play low, and we don't have the entries to take two heart finesses. Yeah, kind of an unusual suit combination. I've, I've actually had that one come up on stream before, I recall a couple weeks ago maybe. So we've worked through that problem previously. No bidding, we're in four spades. We have two club losers and a diamond loser, but we need to make sure not to block the diamond suit. This again is gonna be one of these like can you time the play correctly sort of deals. Um, I mean, it looks like I should just play a diamond to the queen now. Like, I can cash two diamonds and unblock the third one on the fourth round of spades, but I am a little concerned about 5-1 diamonds. I don't know. Again, like, it feels natural to do this. No, this is, this is not possible, as usual. This is just an impossible layout of the cards. <laughs> Okay, they want me to protect against a layout that doesn't exist. Fine. I get it. We'll put up another tally. That was not the 5-1 diamond split I was concerned about. I thought East could have a singleton. <sighs> so I can pull two rounds of trump. Now we take a diamond finesse. They play back a heart, which is fine. I think I should probably play or pitch a club. I guess it doesn't really matter. Play another heart, which I think I'm going to have to rough this one. Oh, I could have discarded when East followed, actually. But now we need to cash a second diamond. And now West doesn't have <laughs> a singleton diamond, of course. But yeah, in practice, taking the diamond finesse at trick two would have worked out just fine. Anyway, 29, king of diamonds lead. We're in four spades. We have plenty of spade entries to the dummy. We could rough a lot of diamonds, or... I mean, the Queen of Diamonds is an interesting card that we might be able to use to throw West in later. That's all I'm thinking. The issue is the third round of hearts. What if we pitch a heart at trick one? Ooh, okay. Yeah, this is the play. This, now that I've figured it out, this is, this is a good plan. 
Because it looks like we're just trying to strip the hand and throw West in to lead a club away from the ace, or, you know, lead a club or whatever was their bidding. Yeah, West over called two diamonds, so West is likely to have the, um, the club ace. Let's try and pull trumps and do everything in the right order. Trumps are successfully pulled, that's great news. But we could have even pulled a second round of trumps here. Like this. Gone ace of hearts, heart rough, spade over. And now lead the queen of diamonds and discard our club loser. One board to go. I assume Brad is finished. One no six now. Ten of hearts lead. Hmm. You're on D30. Oh my god. The race is on. I'm not sure I understand this one. I mean, it looks like I should take the heart finesse. And now I'm going to try and take the diamond finesse. <laughs> I don't know, did I miss something? <sighs> no, I didn't, but... I don't exactly have all of the tricks yet. So I think this is just a simple squeeze against West. We're going to need to keep communications in the diamond suit, which means we want to cash all of our winners outside first. There we go. Half a board ahead? No! <laughs> you just finished. All right, GG. 58-15.